Hi, I'm Alex at HD Labels, and today we're going to unbox this, the DTM Print LX3000D Color Label Printer. So, this little tray slides out. We've got the LX3000 pigment ink print head, a power pack, power cable and USB cable. Take the foam out. printer is pretty heavy. That's everything from inside the box. Get rid of that. Let's remove the bag. We've got a little bit of tape around the side. Keeping the top closed. Aha! And everything else is inside. So, in here, we've got our pigment ink multi pack. So, this is cyan, yellow, and magenta. See where our continuous inks go. The print head assembly is taped down, and then there's plenty of card to pack out the back of the printer. Right, let's take a closer look. What we're looking to do now is open the printer up. We're going to remove the tape that just keeps the sort of print head holder in place. We've got our inks, which are pretty obvious as to which colour is which. And they mark up, they're clearly marked on the top, magenta, yellow and cyan. So if we open these, so there is a chip and a sort of V shaped piece of plastic on the back so what you need to do is basically slide that slides into this mechanism here which will read the chip so we basically put the base in position and then just push it down till it clips in firmly so this top color clip actually comes over the chip and holds it all in place so then just continue to do the remaining cartridges Now once all three of your inks are fitted, so you can see these on the side here, so we just need to install the print head. So the print head basically push this button in the front and it releases the latch that holds the print head in place. So your print head will come in a box like so. So we'll just unwrap this box. Then once you have your print head, you'll see it's got a cap on the top so it says remove red cap and nozzle tape before installing the print head. So basically just release this on the end here that lifts off. Ideally you don't really want to put this down anywhere so now we'll take the tab off and then the print head drops into place and clips in. So it should now be all solid, ready to go. Next we connect the power cable. And then turn the machine on. 